chocolate rum balls. For this recipe, I like to mix two different types of chocolate, bittersweet and semi-sweet. So Brian, I'm gonna have you yes. chop me with a serrated knife, about four ounces, which is about half of that, and I'm gonna chop about four ounces of bittersweet, and then we're gonna mix it together. We're gonna melt this chocolate down. You wanna keep the chocolate well away from where it, the water is. You just need a little to create some steam. Bring it up to a simmer. Put the chocolate on top and just occasionally stir it to make sure that the heat from below or the steam is not scorching your chocolate or that it's caking on the edges of the bowl. We are in the middle of our delicious chocolate rum balls. Just gonna gently mix that in. You can see this double boiler I created really lets that chocolate melt nice and slow. Okay, so we're ready to combine our two halves. The powdered sugar, which is gonna give it great body and this voluptuous chocolate. We're gonna add some rum. <laughs> Again, one tablespoon for you and one tablespoon for me. <laughs> Scraping to get it all incorporated and now, so I'm gonna just mix this chocolate right in. There does come a point in every recipe where you need to use your hands. This is all ready. As we can see, the labor trail. <laughs> Shoba, I'm gonna have you put this in the refrigerator. Okay. And you can see from just a little bit of time in the fridge, they firmed up slightly, not too much. I'll pass these around. Make yourself a bowl of sprinkles. Thank you. Now for this, just make a little spoonful and form it on a spoon. So you wanna roll it and press the sprinkles into it so that a couple of them get buried inside the rum ball, giving them further, deeper texture and meaning. So it's time for a little taste test. Cheers. Hmm.